peak of the summer season and we have a heat wave to prove it. If you're like me, you're looking for quick ways to feed your family and beat the heat too. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to make a cool watermelon, blueberry, and kiwi salad with a white balsamic vinaigrette and a luscious blueberry bread pudding that can be put together in less than five minutes. Let's get started. Bread pudding is multicultural. It was invented by frugal cooks in ancient times who wanted to find a use for stale bread. Any kind of bread can be used to make bread pudding, but it really does need to be two or three days old. While most of us associate bread pudding with dessert, there are savory main course versions too that include meats, cheeses, and vegetables. We're making a dessert today, and I'm using brioche. I've taken eight two-cup ramekins and sprayed them with some no-stick spray. But if you don't have ramekins, that's fine. A 9 by 13 casserole will work great. I've cubed a one-pound loaf of brioche, and what I've done is I've put about three-quarters of a cup, or halfway up the side of the ramekin, I've filled them with bread cubes. Then what I've done is I've put a half a cup of fresh blueberries on top of the bread cubes, which I'm putting here just want to push down on these a little bit to make sure you had some head space. And next I'm going to top all of these off with about another half a cup of bread. This is such a quick and easy recipe and everybody just loves bread pudding. Now, the next little tip I have, and you don't have to do this, but because bread pudding browns on the top, I like to just take a minute and turn any of the crusts upside down. And that way we won't have anything that browns too much or burns. It's time to make our custard. Making the custard couldn't be easier. I like to mix it up in a nice big measuring container with a pourer spout, which is gonna make it really easy to pour into these individual ramekins. What I'm doing here is I'm whisking four egg yolks and eight eggs, large, thoroughly in this container. I'm going to add about a tablespoon of vanilla and two teaspoons of lemon extract and two cups of cream, the real deal. Stir that around. Oh, that smells good. I can smell that lemon and vanilla. And now I'm going to mix in one cup of sugar. Now this will take a minute or so because you really, really do want to make sure that these ingredients are thoroughly mixed and thin. Oh, that's looking really nice. Now for the fun part. Take my whisk out. And I'm going to drizzle all of my custard into my ramekins. And you want to do this really slow to give all of this lovely custard mixture. Stop if it looks like it's going to go over the sides. Give it plenty of time to drizzle its way down through all of those nooks and crannies. I used to love when my grandmother made bread pudding. She used to put raisins and nuts in hers too, which are options. And don't worry if some of this drizzles out over the sides a little bit because when these puff up and bake, a lot of the blueberry juices and the custard are kind of gonna, I don't know what the word for it is, they're kind of gonna bubble up and ooze down the sides of these ramekins anyway. 
Now you'll know when they're full. You'll start, it's kind of hard for you to see, but I can see the custard coming up. Like this one is just about done. The custard's near the fill line of the ramekin. And the fill line is actually this little lip around the outside. Just about there. A little bit more in this one. A little bit more in this one. This is not an exact science, but it is fun. Now I'm going to sprinkle these with some good old fashioned cinnamon sugar, the same kind we used to put on our cinnamon toast when we were kids. much or as little as you want. I like a lot. Now I'm going to pop these in the oven at 350 degrees for 40 minutes and while they bake we're going to make our salad. Making the balsamic vinaigrette couldn't be easier. I'm going to put one cup of white balsamic vinegar in a bowl or a measuring container. And the reason I'm using white balsamic vinegar instead of dark balsamic vinegar today is white balsamic vinegar isn't going to discolor my salad or the chicken that I'm going to serve with this dish tonight. I'm going to add a half a cup of vegetable oil. Half yet. Half a cup of sugar. And two generous tablespoons of Dijon mustard. Now I'm adding the Dijon mustard because when this is all whisked together, it's going to keep it emulsified for a really long time, which means it's not going to separate out. And it's also going to give it a really nice. Now you can just keep it in a container like this, but to store it in the refrigerator or add it to the salad, I like to transfer it to a nice plastic shaker container, which makes it really easy to pour when it comes time to serve. We're going to start with a 10 to an 11 pound seedless watermelon. Now just because it says seedless doesn't mean there's absolutely no seeds in them. They're just smaller and softer and easily digested, which means you don't have to pick the seeds out. You can chunk your watermelon into one and a half to two inch cubes any way you want. But a fun touch that I like to do is I like to slice my watermelon into slices. And I like to use a little cookie cutter and make these fun little hearts. This goes really fast and your kids will get into this. If you do the slices, now sometimes one will get stuck like that and you just push it out the other end. My watermelon is all sliced in a big bowl, and this is about 12 cups of watermelon. I'm going to add two cups of blueberries. I'm going to add six or seven kiwi that have been peeled or sliced. If you don't like kiwi, or even if you have an allergy to them, feel free to substitute strawberries. About one and a half to two cups of red onion. Yes, onion with our fruit. You're gonna love it, trust me. This is one cup of feta cheese that's been cubed and I'm only gonna add half of it now. We're gonna use the other half to garnish the salad. And this is one cup of lightly toasted walnuts and I'm going to do the same. I'm gonna add half and garnish with half. Add about half of my dressing one half of it, or about one cup. Because the other half is going on my chicken tonight. We're going to toss this together. And when I'm done tossing this all together, I'm going to cover it with plastic wrap 
and I'm going to put it in the refrigerator for three to four hours. And when we come back, it's time to eat. This has been a banner year for blueberries, and the ones I use today came out of my backyard. But they're available in grocery stores and local farmers markets everywhere. For three more of my blueberry recipes, blueberry pie, blueberry buckle, which is a coffee cake, and blueberry jam, just go to my website.